Welcome to Jason on English. Let's look at Proverbs. This time, lesson four. What are Proverbs? Well, let's review. Proverbs are traditional sayings. They are usually old. They can be used as reactions or to give advice. Proverbs are very well known and can make you sound more natural. Proverb 1 Many hands make light work. Repeat after me. Many hands make light work. One more time. Many hands make light work. It means that a job is easier when someone helps you. It is better to work with more than one person. Example. Bob was moving furniture, so he asked his two brothers to come over. Many hands make light work. Proverb 2. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Repeat after me. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. One more time. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. It means that people are usually jealous of what other people have. You are jealous of them, and they are jealous of you. Example. Jim's neighbor bought a new car. Jim's car was only one year old, but he envied his neighbor. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Proverb 3 Rome wasn't built in a day. Repeat after me. Rome wasn't built in a day. One more time. Rome wasn't built in a day. It means that it takes time to finish something difficult. Be patient. Don't give up. Just wait and keep working. Example. Anne failed the exam to become a lawyer, but she kept studying to try again. Rome wasn't built in a day. Proverb 4. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Repeat after me. Don't bite off more than you can chew. One more time. Don't bite off more than you can chew. It means that you shouldn't take jobs that are too big. You have to do things that are possible for you to finish. Example. Bob told his boss that he could help five important customers. His boss said that Bob should focus on helping one or two customers instead. He said, don't bite off more than you can chew, Bob. Proverb 5 Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Repeat after me. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. One more time. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. It means that a small problem is not a big problem. Don't make a small problem big. Don't panic. Example. Jim missed his usual bus. Jim started to panic. When he checked the bus schedule, another bus was coming in five minutes. Calm down, Jim thought. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Which proverb matches the situation? Look at the situation. Listen to me read the situation. Then think about which proverb matches. Bob was in a hurry to set up his new furniture from Ikea. 
His wife told him to slow down. He needed more time to do it right. Which proverb matches this? A. Many hands make light work. B. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. C. Rome wasn't built in a day. D. Don't bite off more than you can chew. E. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. What do you think? Which proverb matches the situation? The answer is C. Rome wasn't built in a day. Bob has a big job. He has to set up new furniture from Ikea, and he's in a hurry, but he needs to take time. He doesn't have to hurry. Going slowly is okay. Rome wasn't built in a day. Next, Jim looked at his neighbor's swimming pool and felt jealous. Jim's neighbors looked at Jim's camper and felt jealous. Which proverb matches this situation? A. Many hands make light work. B. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. C. Rome wasn't built in a day. D. Don't bite off more than you can chew. E. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. What do you think? Which proverb? The answer is... B. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Jim looks at his neighbors and he thinks they are better than me. Jim's neighbors look at Jim and they think the same thing. They think Jim is better than me. People are never happy with what they have. They always want what other people have. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Next. Anne spilled one drop of coffee on her new cardigan. She was going to throw it away, but her mother said it was a small stain and easy to clean. Which proverb matches this situation? A. Many hands make light work. B. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. C. Rome wasn't built in a day. D. Don't bite off more than you can chew. E. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. The answer is... E. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. One drop of coffee is a very, very small problem. Her mother is correct. It's easy to clean that. Throwing away the cardigan is too much. That's not a mountain. That's a tiny hill. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Next. Bob had to move a lot of books from his home office to the recycling bin. His kids helped him, so it took only 10 minutes. Which proverb matches this situation? A. Many hands make light work. B. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. C. Rome wasn't built in a day. D. Don't bite off more than you can chew. E. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. The answer is... A. Many hands make light work. If Bob moves a lot of books by himself, he has to make a lot of trips. It will take a long time. It's a big job. But his kids helped him. There are lots of people, lots of hands. The job becomes smaller if lots of people are working together. Many hands make light work. Next. Jim tried making the invitations, baking the birthday cake, and decorating the room. He couldn't finish and had a lot of stress. His friend told him this proverb. Which proverb did his friend say? A. Many hands make light work. B. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. C. Rome wasn't built in a day. D. Don't bite off more than you can chew. E. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Well, his friend said, D. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Jim took too many jobs. He had too much work to do. He couldn't finish it. It was too big. That's like taking a big steak 
and putting all of the steak in your mouth and trying to eat it. You can't chew it. It's too big. You should cut the steak into small pieces and eat a small piece. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Those are the proverbs we practiced in this lesson. Let's repeat them one more time. Many hands make light work. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Proverbs are very well known. They are part of your vocabulary. When you're speaking, you'll sound more natural. When you're listening, you'll understand what people mean. When you're reading, you'll catch the meaning of the story more easily if you understand proverbs. Proverbs are short ways to say big ideas. Try to remember the proverbs. If you like, please watch this video again and look at the other proverbs videos I've made. There are three proverbs lessons before this one, plus a review test of those 15 proverbs. Today we learned five more. That's a total of 20 proverbs so far. It's important to review them, keep them fresh, and try to remember them. And also think of situations from your life, your friends' lives, from movies or books or TV shows that match some of these proverbs. Try to make these proverbs personal. If you can do that, they'll be easier to remember. Thank you for watching.